Hello, it's Ricardo, and I'm still in the Pleiades sector, the home of the Oracle destroyed base and all those level 7 Thargoid Medusa class interceptors. So I thought I'd undertake a mission from the rescue ship, the Oracle rescue ship that's in the system, and head on over to the damaged station and go and get some, some refugees. Now, some of the missions that are available at the Oracle rescue ship are... Uh, well, I couldn't find any escape pods and the like when I had to look around. Perhaps I've missed the boat I'm about a day late. But I was doing, you know, other stuff around the Thargoids. And here we are, we've dropped in. Here's the Oracle station. Looking at for contact to see if there's any debris around. Couldn't find any. Looking at the outside, it's had quite a pasting. You've got the stereotypical green gunk and corrosive nature of the Thargoid weapons. Visible on the hull, part of the habitation ring, well, we're going to call it the habitation ring, where all the nice grass and trees are, has been destroyed and is burning in space. Over the comms, you can hear a very panicked air traffic control telling you, hey, you know, the station has been under attack. We're evacuating, evacuation procedure, and only approach if you've got space to evacuate people. A really good, spectacular visual from, from Tier Development. I mean, I've got to say it. I mean, they've gone all out on these. And it'd be good to see if these sort of in-game artifacts, burning stations or attack stations, are still going to be present. It's a shame to say that only now we're seeing these sort of visuals and not part of the Federation Empire War that's been going on. But hey, we've got them now and let's not go complaining. If you look at these stanchions of the habitation ring, they're burning. Some sort of gas is burning out of them. Everything looks really eerie. And then you can see the green gunk and the green corrosive nature from the Thargoid contact. Now as you pass through the habitation ring and boost towards the rear section of the ship, we can see the drive section's also taking a bit of damage. Again, more than likely, in looking from the video Frontier released yesterday about the Oracle, the, um, the attack came from behind. Taking out the drive system, taking down any station shields, leaving it basically defenseless. Lots of mist and smoke around the station and I'm going to start thinking about heading in to get some passengers out and fulfilling a mission and if I can find any escape pods then so be it so there you go the back side of the drive section venting something or other there's that stereotypical blue light of an engine in mission coming out the side escaping out of the sides and if we zoom in on one of those pods you can see it's taken quite the pasting exposing any of its innards i think visually quite spectacular so we're going to boost on round to the front of the station and request some docking and get inside now i have heard and have seen that your ship is going to incur quite a lot of heat damage. As a result of this, I've equipped the old Badger with some heat sinks. Now, I don't generally use an awful lot of heat sinks. I don't tend to get into an awful lot of combat, and I, I've been quite vocal about that. You know, I like trading and exploring. And Elite is a lot of things to many different people. Not saying I can't do it. I said, I'm just not interested in it. So here we go. We've got... Warning lights rotating around the entry port. A big red old glow in the middle. So that station is cooking from the inside out. Lots of debris inside. There's our emergency landing pad. And again, more debris inside. Although the temperature was rising so quickly on the ship. I must admit... I did panic a little bit and went straight to the landing pad and didn't look for any additional debris. So, a bit of a rough landing. 
not to worry. Start port services. The emergency protocol initiating function, getting you inside as soon as possible. And then you've got outfitting. What you're going to do with that, I don't know. You can refuel and all the rest of it. And then going into the community goals section, the mission section, nothing available. All being done. No missions available there. But as you'd expect, people just want to get off. They want no missions to come back to the station. Going into the passenger lounge, this is where you can make a little bit of money. Nothing major though. I mean, let's face it, you're evacuating after a disaster. So I've got about a 20 cabin berth now on this ASP. The rest I kept for cargo. All economy, because they're just going to have to make do. And I, I loved one of the comments that somebody said from, from my community on my channel the other day. Hey, can you imagine if some of the refugees didn't want to get into your cabins if they were just, you know, economy? <laughs> you can just see that happening, can you? So there you go. So we're going to select some. We're going to get 18 there for like 160,000 credits. Not going to break the bank, and I'm probably going to incur more than that in damage on the Badger. But, you know, hey, it's a mission of mercy, and it's only a short poke back to the Oracle ship. Now, commodities, there's nothing there to buy. You can see there's lots of corruption on the screen. Again, nothing in the mission board. You know, this is a station on its knees. Looking at the outfitting section, no stock. Well, no surprise there. You know, no surprise there. So a nice effect as well in the docking bay. You get quite the effect of, you know, Warning, warning, warning. It's all gone horribly wrong, gaffer. Um, lots of red light, lots of those, you know, emergency klaxons, the red light. You're under no illusions. This is an emergency. So let's get back up and get out of the place. Trying to be careful not to hit any of the debris. And the debris is everywhere. Now my ship is cooking and I haven't used one of my heat sinks yet. Which perhaps I should have, because I've got, I've got two of them. So we're gonna lift off and get out of dodge. So the guns have picked up on something. So obviously there's there's some sort of debris there that I could have collected. And I think on a future trip, perhaps I'll do that. But I'm just concentrating on. Oh, I've hit something. Oh, I can't fly a sausage today. I tell you what. And then, here we go, out through the doors. I would say nice and easy, but hey, I was there doing a, a sightseeing mission as well. You know, I wanted to see what it was all about, drinking in all those visuals. And I'm away from the station. Now, it's only a short hop now from there to the Oracle rescue ship where I can hand in my missions. Now, if you haven't already done so, please can you click the like and subscribe button and the notification icon, and that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos of Elite Dangerous on YouTube. Boosting away now. Locking our destination. Stowing the weapons. And jumping to the ship. And there it is, rescue. Medical frigate. The Oracle. Now someone also said, hey, Medical Frigate is a Star Wars thing. Yes, they have Medical Frigates in Star Wars. They also have Medical Frigates as well in the real world. So I don't think it's just stereotypically just, just you know, Star Wars hasn't got the monopoly on the word Medical Frigate. Um, yes, it's a rescue ship. But it has got Medical Frigate emblazoned all over it. So I've got close enough now. Let's request that docking. The pad's lit up. And here we are touching down and handing in that mission. Thanks very much for watching. That was the rescue ship mission for the Oracle. There are other sectors I'm going to try and get around today and put some video videos up later. I'm going to put a few screenshots as well at the end of the video if you're still with me and you're still watching this. So um, those stills will be there with a little bit of music over them. I didn't take that many, but the ones I did take I think are quite, are quite good. See you soon and fly safe.